YouTube is getting sued. Yay. Okay, actually not yay, because that could seriously affect me. Now, for those of you not in the know, you might ask, Oh, what's YouTube getting sued for? Now, this isn't... This isn't some regular, oh, YouTube's discriminating against us charge that literally every YouTuber could bring. Um, no, no, it's, it's different. Well, um, so, more recently, p people are actually starting to stand up to big tech companies. Google, Facebook, Amazon, Twitter, things like that. And, well, I can use Parler as an example. Didn't like, um, Amazon didn't like what they had to, what they were doing. Yeet right off their servers, and you better get all this data that they can't possibly get off, otherwise, delete it. Sorry. But, um, in some degree, these, these four or five companies can, can completely shut down everything you do online, and probably, um, a little, mo actually, most of the part offline. It's ridiculous. I mean, if I challenge you to go, um, name a service that one of these big uh, companies, big tech companies, doesn't own or doesn't have a m major part of, you couldn't. I mean, seriously, some most businesses um, uh, use Amazon servers, and, well, once you're dumped by Amazon, nobody wants to take you. So, yeah. Um, but Google controls every website on Google. I mean, come on. Look, open Google and now search up just God. Uh, just search up the Oh wait, you can't do that. You would need to to go on uh, Safari or something. Oh wait, no Apple owns that. But YouTube's actually getting sued for something else that I've talked about or at least I think I have monopolization. I don't think this has ever happened to a tech company, except for Microsoft. Yeah, I think Microsoft's the only one. Except this is coming out of a video site called Rumble. It's based in Canada, and I'm gonna go possibly check it out to see if it's deserving, because what would make it a monopoly if it was actively overshadowing it? So Rumble is a direct, um, direct, uh, it's a direct competitor to YouTube, and it's, well, also this is basically the big, ooh, yeah, I've, um, I'm, I'm on it, and top video, puppy and see toy die from pi poison food and instantly spits it out. Yeah, that, that shouldn't. Yeah. But it has an editor, and it's basically things. I'm not going to start going on there, but it does look kind of, well, better than YouTube and the free speech department. So they basically accuse them of stifling competition, not letting smaller competition grow, and censoring conservatives, and... I'm not going to get into that. They also accuse them of using the videos tab and search to favor YouTube versus other. So let's just test that out. If I were to search Bumble, or no, no, it's Rumble, Rum, Rumble, God. And I were to go search videos. Oh, number one, YouTube, Facebook, YouTube, YouTube. Business Insider, YouTube, YouTube, Facebook, YouTube, YouTube. Hmm. So, so they uh, delivered the lawsuit and say they lost viewers and advertising revenue since Google, which owns YouTube, if you didn't know, is unfairly um, censoring them, basically.
and pre um and pre installation on Android devices. And well, they're also stifling competition because um well who would need another search bar when you already have Google installed in an Android phone Oh Interesting. So mm, story fire or something like that. I've heard of these sites. Rumble I have not and well if they've brought a hundred random YouTube consumers in and they asked, Oh, do you know what Rumble is? I guarantee you one hundred of them, one hundred of one hundred, would say, No, what's Rumble? And they could say, Exactly, and YouTube is stifling competition away by asking Google to manipulate the search is to um to well to hide our website. But um there's some evidence of this. Parlor. It wasn't oh one company announced it a few weeks later and now no, no no. Like that. Gone. And well yeah, or um oh god, am I about to defend Alex Jones? Kind of. When Alex Jones' podcast got banned all the companies acted at the same time. Now, hmm, I wonder if that shows anything. And it was all for the same reason I should mention. We don't want people to incite violence. And since we don't want people to incite violence, we're not going to ban Twitter or, you know, just tell, you know, we're not going to try to have parlors step up their game on censor. No, 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 we're going to completely basically delete parlor because it's parlor's fault hmm but um what bumble is alleging is that youtube has or more specifically google has willfully and maintained a monopoly and they say in at least two ways and i will give you them as obvious jesus and well um First way is um, by manipulating the the um, algorithms in which videos are searched. They also say the reason why is because Google owns YouTube and therefore more traffic to YouTube means more money for them. They also say they list competitors down the list and by searching Rumble you can see Google, uh, YouTube, Facebook, YouTube, 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 Facebook, YouTube. Yeah, so it's... Yeah, there's, there's no rumble in the videos, even though... Don't you think there should? And by YouTube, and by pre-installing YouTube as the default installation app on Google phones, which would stifle competition, because why would you need another, um... Why would you need another um, video sharing site when you already have YouTube? Come on. And by entering legal tying um, engagements uh, with other phone companies to do the same. And would you like to know how much Rumble is seeking for damages? Two billion. With a B. That's coming out of you. Oh, God. Oh, please. Not another. Rumble, please. Um, could you just lower it to one billion, maybe? Seriously, this is like a massive pure event for you. Um, please, I don't want another ad apocalypse. Even though I wouldn't be directly affected, so I, since I don't get ads, any YouTuber who does will. But this is also after Parler is suing Amazon for damages and things like that. Yeah, but basically, uh, a bunch of tech companies are going to get sued for antitrust. So I wouldn't recommend banning, banning major sites. And, well, nobody's going to actually take them down because nobody can. I mean, the politicians are, what, a million years old? So, yeah, um... Nobody's going to take them down except smaller companies suing them for billion, two billion dollars. Think, think of the, um, think of, think of, 
think of any competition to YouTube besides Vimeo and Storyfire. I mean, how many users does Vimeo even have? Oh, let's go on Google Trends. Wow, Google Trends. Ooh, I wonder if who owns this. Um, let's just go search uh, Vimeo. 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 Here we are. Okay. Um, oops, there was a problem displaying this page. Oh no! But <laughs> there's no other video sharing platform that that has a billion views on a single video, or billions of users, or literally anything with a billion. I mean, no matter what your political views, this should be an issue that a few companies can- Bang, there goes your small business, or anything online. Oh no, there goes your Twitter account. Oh no, there goes your Facebook. Oh no, you can't email people anymore. Oh no, your customer service is terrible because they can't get through to you. Is it the right thing to do to create a lawsuit? No, 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 definitely no. It should be community upcry, but... Well, you see how that's worked. It hasn't. And now the next best option is, Hey, hey, Google, did I have two billion dollars? My stupid Google assistant is being dumb but hey google could could i have two billion dollars and a video buy